You know what the best part about this movie is? It being over. Hey there guys, welcome back to another awesome video. And today's movie is going to be of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. You guys probably didn't expect this to happen, but neither did I. This movie, I mean... It's pretty much just Winnie the Pooh horrified, and they're all now killing kids and people and teenagers, and they torment Christopher Robin. Why? I don't remember. And that pretty much sums up the that sums up the review. <laughs> but this movie is directed by Reese Frank Waterfield, and I think he's still continuing to make these movies, or he wants to do a a Pooniverse, which. I can't believe we're in this. We're in this reality. I can't believe we're this is existing right now. And you know, I don't remember names. That's the only name I really wanted to remember to make sure that I give the director credit because even though he did make a shit film, it is like, yeah, I guess he was trying to make a passion piece. And although I don't agree with his passion piece, it's kind of nice to at least acknowledge that, hey, maybe this guy can go forward, you know, not do so much these weird, ideas with making Disney characters that are now in the public domain into horrified monsters and creatures, which, wow, oh my gosh, so original. Uh, I don't know. I just, I can't. Maybe he'll do better stuff. Maybe he'll do something different for once. We'll see what happens. But that's the only name I really remembered. I don't remember names. I don't remember actors. I really don't remember characters. I mean, in terms of human characters, I really don't remember. I don't care. It feels like this movie doesn't care. And I know this movie had like a $200 or less or more budget, but wow, it shows too, because I'm sorry, but the makeup, the makeup with Pooh specifically, your main guy, the one that you were so wholeheartedly on like, hey, now that he's in public domain, I need to do my horror fan fiction. It's like, you had one job and he doesn't even look that great. I'm like, okay, maybe he'll look better in lighting. He looks way worse in lighting. And maybe he looks better in the shadows. He looks worse in the shadows because just the ridges, the wrinkles, and there's moments you can see the neck on the human. You can see just not enough latex, not enough prosthetics on there. And it just looks just hard to just probably move the jaw. I actually feel bad for the actor who is in that costume, in that makeup, probably couldn't even move his mouth and couldn't even express it or inflectuate his face or do any weird gestures. I don't know. I, I feel I feel bad for him, maybe. I don't have anything else to really say about the movie. It just, I, I know I'm just bashing the film, but I mean, I can't blame it because, oh man, every character is bland. I feel like the only guy you know is Christopher Robin. That's because you know the name Christopher Robin and it's it's at first centered around him, but then he's a backdoor character, which makes zero sense at all, even though they want to focus on the Hundred Acre Woods, those characters, they hate humans for whatever reason, because I guess Christopher Robin abandoned Pooh and the gang, so therefore Pooh and the gang hate humans. So I, I guess it's that trope. And again, there's so many of these girls that just feel forgettable. I don't even remember names. I remember vague things about them and they're just kind of just token characters and trope characters and all these other things. You're just waiting for them to get killed off and you really don't have a human character to latch out to. You don't have your Jamie Lee Curtis. You don't have your Nev Campbell. You don't have that star power. Not that star power, but you don't have an actress or an actor to go, okay, this guy is actually being smarter. You know, I kind of like him because he has charisma or he's funny or, you know, he's a good character. I... I don't know, maybe I feel like that was something with Christopher Robin, but again, he was backdoored and he was just kind of like, oh, where has he been? At first I assumed he was dead, but apparently Pooh and the gang were just torturing him. Okay, so you were torturing him, but you don't want to kill him? I, I don't know, maybe they're trying to go for something. Maybe the sequel does something better, I doubt it, but I think it looks hysterically hilarious and it looks like an improvement. And that's saying a lot to this film because I think this is the first time I'm gonna say that we need to poop blood and honey just for how bad and how ridiculously hilarious this is. I'm giving it an F. So we need to poop blood and honey. Have you guys seen it? Do you guys even bother? Actually, you know what? Don't even bother. Don't even bother going to see the movie. I've seen it, so you guys don't have to. But let me know in the comments section down below. Let's talk about something better. What is your favorite horror movie or what is your favorite horror guilty pleasure? 
Let me know down below, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to Austin Hands every day, if not every week. Make sure you ring that bell, do new videos every day every week. She the video for your friends, all the good for stuff, and more. Leave some suggestions in the comments. You name it, I'll look into it as best as possible. This is going to be probably scheduled throughout the month of April because I have stuff that's going to be recorded here and recorded here and scheduled here and rescheduled there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.